You as well with your nose and everything. I, I very much appreciate that. Yes. I. You know what? I appreciate it too, Christina. I was going to take it off for you, but I didn't want you to end this interview after one question. You've amassed this collection of characters that are not only iconic, but you also remember the names of from Shane Vandrell to Boyd Crowder to baby Billy Freeman. So it's, you're setting the bar pretty high for yourself. What was the most important part in preparing to play the ghoul and helping him rise to meet that level? That's well, first and foremost, thank you very much for say, saying that. That's very kind. I've known you now for a very long time. Uh, I, uh, I, I guess the answer to your question really, with uh, an, uh, the utmost humility, is I just don't think about it in those terms. I, I really don't, you know. I, 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 I'm just so grateful to have had the opportunities that I've had over the course of my career. This was an amazing opportunity. I don't feel like, like, I don't set myself up in that way, you know, like a bar in that way. I just, this was a, a, a complicated, complicated guy. And it was so compelling to me, his life before the bombs dropped and the person that he is 250 years later. And, uh, and one story informed the other. And, um, and it was uh, just an opportunity to, to participate in a world that, that I enjoy. I enjoy reading, I enjoy watching, and I, I certainly enjoy uh, uh, participating in. Had to put together a team or pick a sidekick and only had your past characters to choose from. Who do you think he would be compatible with or even be able to tolerate or would he just want to kill them all? I think he would love Venus. You know, I think he would enjoy her immensely. Uh, I think Boyd Crowder would be his drinking buddy. I think he would kill Lee Russell straight away. Uh, I think uh, Shane Vendrell uh, would be... Uh, somebody that he would employ <laughs> and uh i don't know what, what other ones baby billy uh, he would uh, he could walk the desert with baby billy you know, like you always need somebody to make you laugh but the, you know the thing about all of these people is most of them are loners right most of them are and uh and i i am i'm a loner you know in my own in my own way and so so uh, yeah he, he 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 likes to Spend time alone, I think. The ghoul. That was an excellent answer that I now want to watch as a TV show. So thank you for that. Absolutely. There, there what if he walked up with all of them? Creatures? Like all of them, you know? Because they're all in my head. I just do want to do one episode, one shot of all of them walking across the fucking post-apocalyptic uh, wasteland. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. Gross looking creatures in the series that make the ghoul look downright sexy. So... It, did school always look how we see him now? Were there things that really needed to be tweaked? It, it feels important to make sure that we still see you in the makeup so that we also still see the original person that the ghoul came from. So like, what were the things that really sort of needed to there be tweaked? Were, there were multiple, multiple conversations over, over a long period of time. And, and, and there, I, there were drawings, there were renderings of, of this guy that were in my memory were, were very, very, very different than not. I mean, they were in the world, but they were not what we ultimately uh, ended up with. And for all of us, it was very important that, that you see me, that I be able, that the, the pieces be thin enough where I can not think about, uh, conveying uh, feeling, you know, or thoughts uh, to another person. At one point we were going to use contact lenses and, and we did the very first day uh, much to, you know, to, to my dismay because those things freak me out. I, I put them in and, you know, stood up. I, I couldn't really see with them on. And I thought, Oh my God, there's no way I could do this with these on, but okay, I'll figure it out. And Jonah immediately said, no, that that makes you a different person. I have to see your eyes. It's in your eyes. Everything is in your eyes. And uh, and so we, we took those out 
And, and, and we worked on it. You know, we did, we did three tests. The first one I'm going to say was 70% there. Um, and then we worked on like getting it to a place where it's like, oh, okay, no, we got to, that's a little too severe. That's not severe enough, actually. Right. We went kind of back and forth with that. We need to go a little bit more and then start uh, inserting like nicks in his ear and battle scars and and start uh, like a roadmap of where he's been for the last 200 years. Uh, so it was a, it was a real process. But I'm, I'm I'm really happy with and pleased with how it turned out. And uh, and we did. We wanted him to be sexy on whatever level, like, <laughs> like in a ghoulish way. Goggins ghoul. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite moment this season and does it involve the ghoul or does it involve Cooper Howard? That's a great question. I obviously can't tell you what the moment is, uh, but well, you know, r right out of the gate, getting the opportunity to see the world end, Give, you know, being given the op like a, truly an opportunity, uh, the privilege of experiencing that for the rest of us uh, was a, an incredible experience for me. But but they they all were, and there are moments in the ghoul, some of which you've seen. You know, seeing himself two hundred years earlier in a movie that he made was a. a, a Deeply visceral experience for me, um, yeah. and uh, and and it goes kind of back and forth. And there isn't there isn't just one scene. There there are, there are many, you know, many over the course of this show. I, I, I really, I really had a great time, Christina. It was it was uh, truly a, a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, every time I think you, there's no way you can top the last one. Then some other crazy thing happens. So I greatly appreciate that. Hey, it's always a joy to talk to you, man. It's really good to see you and, and, uh, and I hope to see you in person soon.